Welcome, welcome. Today we are broadcasting live from the Embassy of Malawi here in Zimbabwe. And with us today is His Excellency Dr. Polepole, who is the Ambassador of Malawi in Zimbabwe. This is a special interview in connection with the uh, rescue operations that are going on in Malawi. Welcome, Ambassador Polepole. Thank you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm glad to, to, to be here, though this is a, a sad moment for Malawi. And the, I'm sure the majority of us are aware that we have lost our brothers and sisters, children, boys and girls, uh, due to the uh, devastating effects of uh, Cyclone uh, Friday, which has mostly you know, affected most districts in the southern uh, Malawi, southern part of Malawi. And um, following that, the, the president of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Makave Chakwera, they um, uh, sent out you know, um, information regarding declaration uh, of the disaster in, in these you know, uh, districts. It is quite saddening indeed to note that the districts like uh, Blantyre City and Blantyre as, an, as, as a district is, is really affected, which means a lot of business, a lot of people in, even from uh, different you know, uh, other countries, including Zimbabwe, might have been affected, either physically or even in their businesses. But uh, knowing how caring the Malay government is through the Department of Disaster and um, uh, Management, referred to as DODIMA, uh, they are really working so hard uh, to make sure that uh, they save uh, some of the lives that are still you know, around. I am sure you have seen a lot of clips moving around, um, very touching, a very sorrowful state, and even some of the, you know, our beloved, you know, brothers and sisters floating in different levels. Um, quite sudden indeed. Uh, I know one other area which I may highlight. I know there are so many areas. The, the confluence of Ruo and the Shiri has extended almost like a kilometer uh, in, in the radius. And the, those who are actually doing rescuing, they are actually, you know, um, what should I say, you know, floating or maybe, you know, uh, pedaling above houses, which means houses have completely been submerged. And the, what it means is that the, all the villages in this area have completely gone. Considering this, the president actually yesterday of Malawi, uh, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, had actually, you know, um, a trip to visit these affected areas and has declared the 14 days of mourning in Malawi. Based on this, as, the, as the, an embassy, and the, knowing Zimbabwe has quite a lot of you know, Malawians based here, and even those in the diaspora, we would like you to, to help and heed to the uh, call that has been made by the president. Uh, Harare Mission has followed the suit, and we have established a committee, and this committee has got you know, a different you know, uh, representation some from churches, some from the Muslim community, some from business community, some from, you know, um, models uh, who have been here uh, in Zimbabwe for quite a, uh, a long time, and others are in Bulawayo and, the, you know, others in, uh, in Montari. We just want to make sure that we as an embassy, we are playing a coordinating role, and the deputy ambassador is leading this uh, committee. At the moment, through guidance from Dodima, we have been told that the rescue is still you know, um, going on and there are still challenges. You might know that the, uh, some three soldiers were swept away as they were you know, floating, uh, as they were trying to uh, you know, um, help those that uh, they could. Unfortunately, uh, three, uh, I think I'm told now, three soldiers are, are safe, uh, plus one civilian, but the two, uh, we are very hopeful that they will be available. Um, they could, we, we, are, we are also told that the, we have, uh, the, uh, the team, the military is failing to use the helicopters because the weather is very poor. So you can see it's really very, very difficult. So at the moment, uh, according to Dodima, we require um, you know, rescue materials uh, that includes the transport, you know, buses, you know, cars and things like that, tents, topolines and the uh, food, um, and then the food items, cooking materials, you know, pots, spoons, 
and even food itself, including tinned, you know, beef, tinned, you know, tea, uh, fish, and so many other things that you may come in. Of course, not forgetting and um, sanitary wear, especially wash items. We might need even mobile toilets and other things like that. And of course, we also need to be mindful about the children who are, who are going to school and they are missing you know, lessons. So um, emergency, you know, education in emergency toolkits would be ideal. Above all, we might also need the um, um, services or, uh, for psychosocial support. You know, um, some of them have completely lost everything that they had, relatives, you know, brothers, sisters, and they don't know why they are in, in actually a huge shock to say what is it that has happened. So uh, services regarding to psychosocial support uh, will be, you know, uh, grateful. Um, indeed, there are, I think, 12 districts, and I think because rescue is still going on, we will continue updating you through this channel. We are very, very grateful uh, because of this, you know, um, channel that we can be able to reach out to you. Those in the diaspora, I know you have already got you know, different you know, uh, groupings, whether through WhatsApp or Facebook. I would encourage you that you uh, communicate with us and we'll be able to tell you how best you can you know, um, send uh, your uh, materials uh, to, to this course. In due course, we'll also be sending you the uh, account. Uh, one of the bank is willing to open a disaster account for us, we will also share with you. And those in different locations within Zimbabwe, Bulawayo, we are also setting up a team that side, and we are also giving you links of who is responsible to do all the collections. We are really very, very grateful for the support at the moment that we have received from different general institutions, business people, individuals, churches, and we are encouraged more importantly, we continue asking you for your prayers that uh, we save Malawi. The government is doing the best it can, but we rely on your support. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be coming to update you uh, very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Would you be so kind to give the physical address for the embassy in case some people just want to come through and drop their donations? Thank you very much. Uh, the embassy is located in Alexandra Park, uh, 911 Duth Road, it's uh, off uh, Second Street, uh, right here uh, in Harare. And I think in some way, uh, we'll be also sending you the, um, I would say hotline uh, kind of you know number, but uh, this is the number that uh, the Deputy Ambassador has allowed that we should be able to use in case you have some other questions that uh, you might be able to um, uh, ask and uh, we will also be posting some information on our website uh, which is the Malawi you know, Embassy Harare Mission so that at least you can also follow that link to make sure that you can also be updated on what is happening. Thank you. Could you also tell us the times uh, of opening and closing so that people will come at the right time? Uh, the embassy is open from uh, 8 o'clock and it closes at 12.30 and open at 2 o'clock and closes at 4.30. But because of the situation in which we are, we have agreed uh, as a team that we will be open throughout the day. Uh, so you can always come to us uh, from 8 o'clock and up to uh, 5 o'clock. We have also extended it by additional 30 minutes uh, because we know some of you are you know, coming from very far. But as I said, when I share with you the, the number, you can also call uh, the, ambassador, the deputy ambassador anytime and we'll be able to pick you know, a call and be able to give you the advice. On Fridays, we are closed at uh, 1 o'clock, but because of the situation in these two or three weeks, we will be able to operate as, as normal. So you can always find us. If you want to come on the weekend, please give us a call and we'll definitely be here to you know, attend to you because this is a huge call for us. If all goes well, God willing, we are uh, intending that by 31st of March, we must be able to send something uh, to Malawi. And we know it's an ongoing, you know that the disaster has got the stages. Considering that we're in the response mode, I think agency is, is of interest. And later on, when we go into the developmental stage, I think we will continue doing that. So even if you are not ready to participate in this response uh, period, 
your need, your support is still needed because this is not it's going to take long possibly maybe even a year because at that time now we might be you know considering how we can help you know the issues of development regarding children schools and even putting up you know um, you know uh, emergency you know cause uh, stations where people can now start building their livelihood yes thank you so we thank you so much and we will join Malawi in the 14 days of mourning. Um, our hearts are with you, our hearts are with our brothers and sisters in our motherland of Malawi. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us. May God bless you and continue to guide you on this um, operation to try and bring relief to the victims of Cyclone Freddy. It's a great honor. Thank you. God bless you. Shalom.